Hello, I'm Dan Alford. Welcome to the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. Hello, I'm Jim Walker, welding technologist and CWI at Arc Specialties. Today I will give you an overview on how to test your weld with the liquid penetrant inspection method. Today I'll be using type 2, visible penetrant, method C, solvent removable. After you make the weld, let it cool completely. The next step would be to clean the area to be tested thoroughly. Next step would be let the solvent evaporate completely. After that, shake the penetrant can and apply penetrant liberally. Next, you wait a predetermined time based on your testing procedure. Next step is to clean the part off. Use a clean rag to wipe away the majority of the penetrant. Then use a rag slightly dampened with solvent to wipe away the rest. Now the part has been cleaned. The next step is developer. Coat the area to be tested. So after the pre-described amount of time is up, you inspect your part for what they call bleeds, pink indications in the white developer surface. On the right is a picture of the joint as welded. This is the top of the weld or the face or the cap of the weld. On the left side is the same joint after liquid penetrant inspection. You can see there are no bleeders, no visible indication. So according to liquid penetrant inspection, this is a sound weld. On the right side is the second joint we made, and I think it actually looks better than the first joint. But on the left side, you can see after liquid penetrant inspection, it's absolutely full of defects. Each of these bleeders is an indication of porosity or a non-metallic inclusion. Liquid penetrant inspection is actually one of the most sensitive techniques you can use for finding defects which extend to the surface of a weld. But we want to look beneath the surface, so now we're going to mill the cap and the root off on a milling machine. Once we've milled both the root and the face, we'll return to the lab and have Jim perform liquid penetrant inspection on both surfaces. On the right side is the root or bottom of the weld after machining. On the left side is the same weld after liquid penetrant inspection. There are no indications, no bleeders, no defects found. This is the face or cap of the weld after machining. No dye penetrant is necessary. The defects are visible with the naked eye. On the close-up, you can tell that these defects are actually porosity in the weld. Liquid penetrant is a wonderful inspection technique. Not only is it very sensitive, it also works on any type of metal, and it's easy to learn. Plus, it's cheap. We went on the internet, and you can get the three cans necessary to perform this inspection for less than $75, and I encourage anyone who's working in metals to have a set in their toolbox. So what we've shown you today is with welding, sometimes beauty is only skin deep and you need to look a little closer to determine weld quality. Next week, we're going to show you how to do visual weld inspection with simple gauges. You can measure fillet size and shape, and with cross sections, you can check for root fusion and weld integrity. We look forward to posting new episodes of the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. If you're one of the thousands of operators of Arc Specialties equipment around the world and you have a weld that you would like to showcase, please contact us. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.